Hi guys, my name is Katie, or Kibi Does Art, and today we're going to be texturing our light bulb model. So, uh, the bottom part's going to be like metalish gray, so you can just grab that part. We'll do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and change it to like a gray, and then just up the metalness, basically. I actually really like how um, Maya like does a metal texture, so I usually don't use plugins because I think that they use very good um, lighting for their metal textures. Uh, let's also click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light, and then you can click seven, and our textures will be shown. I'm gonna click five, and let's assign a new material to this top part. My idea of this um, light bulb was kind of like that fogged out white that you sometimes see. So I'm just gonna up my transmission a little bit. And then let's go to Arnold and click on render so you can see how the light bulb is turning out. Okay. So I'm just kind of like editing, obviously I want the color up, but I also want it to be like partially see-through, not all the way see-through, but you know, like a fogged out look. Let's also click on poly modeling and grab a plane. Let's scale it up and do assign new material, AI standard surface, and then I'm gonna grab this checker color and then let's refresh that and see how he's doing. Looks pretty good. I kind of want the top part to diffuse the roughness a bit better, specifically on that transmission. There we go. Now it's a bit more rough. But yeah, you can see that metal texture like it just looks so accurate. They do it so well. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, this one is super easy. It's basically just like putting on that little fog texture that they have on light bulbs sometimes and then um, adding that metallic uh, texture. So if you guys have any questions on that, uh, let me know. Uh, ooh, what we can do is we can also add like a slightly yellow tint um, to kind of like the top if you want. Again, that's totally up to you. You don't have to do that, but I think it's kind of fun. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, but that's about it for this tutorial. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.